We are not in Max. After discovering a serene emerald green lake in Hope, British Columbia, we've driven six hours northeast of Vancouver to find this isolated guest ranch in the middle of Canada's cowboy country. It's starting to snow now. The roads are kind of slushy. And after 500 kilometers, we're definitely gonna have to wash the car after this trip. A couple of meals, and a few sudden weather changes. We finally found Montana Hill Guest Ranch and had a chance to soak in the private hot tub. We're gonna have to figure out how this works. While enjoying this beautiful sunset. Totally worth it. Today, the plan is to get up early and explore what this massive guest ranch has to offer. morning welcome to a fine morning here in montana hill guest ranch it's just nice waking up to a morning like this that you could just hear absolutely nothing just pure serenity max is still getting ready but the goal for today is to explore the rest of the property see the barns the stables obviously we're not going to be exploring the entire property because it's too big but we're going to try to make the most out of it it's so nice out here it is Stars come out and the sky begins to glow. With a feeling I never known before. So I think they have a total of four cabins for rent. And ours is a four guest cabin. So you can see like that there's a master bedroom for two people and there's like a sofa bed. The pathways are a little bit icy this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Today is a very windy day. Thankfully, we were still able to put up the drone, fly the drone earlier. All the slush yesterday turned into ice, so the pathways are a little bit icy. So I think this is their main lodge, it's called the Big Sky Lodge where you rent all of the equipments for your activities. So they do a lot of activities here in Montana Hill Guest Ranch from snowmobiling to snowshoeing. So there's some rentals over here. And for summer, you could do like ATVing, horseback riding. Kind of a bummer because we wanted to try horseback riding for quite a while now. It's also worth mentioning that this is the only place in the ranch that has cell service. So this is also the place where they serve breakfast but unfortunately due to COVID they're not serving breakfast at the moment. But if you guys stay here after the pandemic they do serve breakfast and it comes with your stay. <laughs> this is Elaine. She and her husband Al runs this massive 137-acre guest ranch. Part of the experience in staying in their ranch is they invite you to meet the rest of the family. You wanna go out? <laughs> we met Lexi, Abby, Stevie, <laughs> <laughs> and Stella, the first ever miniature horse that we've seen. Stella! Hi, Stella! Hi, Stella! They also have a few chickens, but we didn't ask if they all had names. Twice a day, Elaine comes to the barn to feed the animals and try to get some fresh warm milk from Lexi. 
that everyone gets to share. I think this is the first time I've seen that chickens actually drink milk. They love milk. Uh, they get milk first thing in the morning. At what age can you milk a cow? Well, when she's 13 months old, you can have her um, bread, and then she, it takes about 10 months from then on, and then she'll have her calf, and then after she has her calf and the colostrum, that's the first milk, the uh, calf gets all that milk, oh. and then um, after that, then you can um, milk the cow, and um, well, you, you could milk the colostrum. Right. Right. Still, then, then you can consume the milk. Nice. Elaine does it so well that we found it very fascinating, and we couldn't resist but ask if we can try it for ourselves. And what you do is you grab up in here, the milk fell inside the other. So what you want to do is you want to pull up and pull down as you squeeze. Amazing! <laughs> okay. And then you grip it like this. <laughs> like, like this, and then pull down. Okay. okay. <laughs> is it? Is, she's warm, eh? She's warm! <laughs> so what you have to do is you have to go... Oh, okay. There. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Cow milking is actually fun. Pudding <laughs> top <laughs> to wake up without that caffeine in your cup a little shot of courage to start the day. To start the day. Or start the day. After seeing the cows and the chickens, it was time to meet the horses. Al was kind enough to walk us to the stables where it didn't take long before we got surrounded by these curious, beautiful beasts. They're very curious creatures, right? Uh, yeah. 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 They speak more. Yeah. Yeah. So big! Yeah. He's going. <laughs> He's a friendly one. Hi. Him like a steam train over me. Before I could even breathe. You and I <laughs> 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 Hello, He's right behind us. <laughs> Growing up, Max has always been fond of horses. It's already a dream come true to be this close to even one of them, and she was surrounded by nine different horses. Before coming to this ranch, we never really understood why people moved this far out of the city. Growing up, we've always chosen the bigger cities and enjoy what the city life has to offer. And even to this day, we live in one of the biggest cities in all of Canada. The cheaper land may be a factor since properties in the city could get very pricey. But after spending a night here, we think the bigger factor on why people choose to live as isolated as this ranch is simply having the ability to slow down time. Spending a night here can feel seven times lower than spending a night in a busy city. Even if we just stayed for a night, it felt like we stayed, got disconnected from the world, and were rejuvenated for an entire week. Imagine how an entire week in this place can change things. I guess we'll just have to come back longer for next time. So hope you guys enjoyed this mini getaway, and definitely check out Montana Hill Guest Ranch. They're a small family-owned guest ranch here in Bridge Lake, BC. And it's perfect if you're doing a little bit of a retreat or maybe disconnect away from the hustle and bustle of the city. It was fun seeing the animals and you can see that they are well taken care of. It's so sad that we only booked one night. We should have stayed longer. We'll definitely be back sometime around the summertime and maybe for longer. And as always, thank you guys for watching this video and make sure you hit subscribe if you guys haven't and give this video a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Would you give all yours to me. Till it 